There you go. Oh, okay. So just it's already running. It's already done? Yeah. All right, the unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact, now you literally have six paintings in one. And I'll explain by the fact that based on my perspective when I when I when I'm creating a painting, I print right. I paint and create on a three three degree angle. Okay. So it's like yeah. like this, off angle. Oh. You know, yeah. to give it a see. different dimension. But you know, you are free and and very welcome to put it at any angle you want, straight, you know, whatever, because I want to leave it like that yeah. for I want to display at their own visual preference. Exactly. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I just There's put the this. the documentation and everything. And I put this little card there, oh, so if you need. Oh, cool. Put it on a 33 degree angle if you choose, because I already had it laid out for you to make it easier. Oh, wow. Yeah. So now. And it's all authenticated. Oh, let me, should yeah, I, I see that. Should, yeah. I, should I tell them? You might that? want to give them the heads up yeah. about your authentication. See, I always authenticate my paintings to be sure that 200 years from now, there's no doubt that I did it. Right. For sure. Yeah. So that's a sample. I do a blood sample. Whoa, it's like DNA. In there. Literally. Wow. It sinks right into the wood. How about that? You know, it looks like a semicolon. Then, is this the color palette? Yeah. From the painting? I do that on all of them so that, you know, yeah. over time, you know, people can actually oh, sample man. this if they need to, you know, refresh it as oh, they man. do at museums and so forth. And, wow. um, you know, you got the uh, black light signature as well. Huh. Because I don't believe in necessarily writing my uh, yeah. name on the front because I don't want that to be the visual. I want people just to focus yeah. on the, the painting itself. And you see, you get, and the same black lining is on the front as well, but you can't see it uh -huh. unless you put on the black light. Okay, so here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, man, that's great. And when Look I said at that, and this is like when I was explaining the 33 degree angle, that's yeah. what it looks like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Oh, okay. So that's oh. why. And the reason I do that because no yeah. corner has any dominance. You know? Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. This hey. is so. Oh, oh man. I, I say, I'm speechless. But that's your just, preference. You can keep it like that, is, like that, like that, whatever. Yeah. Whatever floats. Well, you, you said it like this, and you signed it like that. So oh, I think okay. that, looks, that looks good to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> cool. you know when I'm doing it, I'm doing it from you, you know, my vision, yeah. you know, and you know I, I want people to see it as I was creating it yeah. because you know who knows you know oh, they'll never know otherwise. Wow, this is wonderful. I you know then I wanted to do it on this side, which is a, a 24 by 24 inch. Mm -hmm. You know, based on like when I spoke with you the last time, where you right. might potentially have room to hang it. Yeah. So I don't know where wherever you find you know. But you know, with the angles, you know, you have you have you know a whole bunch of um, you have freedom to yeah, and uh, and I'm and and, uh, and I'm going to show you in a while what it looks like uh, in the dark in the black light. Whoa! <laughs> like I said, it's a whole different painting. <laughs> wow! It's what I call sculptured painting. Black light. That was like. You yeah, know, 70s. back in the 70s, that, <laughs> yeah. that was, everybody had that. With your, right. Went with your weed, went with your weed. No, people don't even know what that is. They don't know what the black light is, like, yeah. Uh, you know, fluorescent paint and black. Exactly. Well, see, that's what I use primarily. But you can't, that doesn't look like without. Right, because oh, wow. I tend well, to work with the to mute them in such a way where if, if when you're looking at them in the daylight, they look as they should right. to the naked eye. But, you know, and as the sunlight goes down, you know, then you have, it still maintains itself. And then, That's, if you want to, you know, I, I've never heard of anything. You know, like turn on the black light one night with a lava lamp, then you yeah. see a whole different painting. And you see all, a lot of the background and everything will begin to change. And you'll see a whole different configuration. So you'll see. You'll get okay. it. This is amazing. This hey, is blowing my mind right I, here. Well, as I promised you, and I say, you know, when I go back over, 
you know, I'm not saying anything to anybody. <laughs> I don't know. You have no way of knowing this, but like that, a couple months ago, um, around the time we were talking, right? Oh yeah, um, yeah. I, don't, I didn't mention this, but the Met had released like thousands of um, images to the public domain oh, that were yeah. painted, yeah. paintings, drawings, photographs. That they had. They're all online. So right. I was looking for some themes for my portfolio, my design portfolio at work. Mm. So I was I, I was looking at just browsing through those on a Sunday afternoon. Okay. And the ones that I chose that I really liked the most okay. were not pictures of things, but they were pictures of like ideas and shapes. Abstracts. Kind of like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like that's right. sort of my favorite wow. kind of, you know, where you have shapes that are that can be interpreted in like different ways. Mm -hmm. and then right. Then you have the, it continues on like that. And then yeah. the well, balance. Oh, oh, man. It's like. Everybody. Hmm. Look, well, you know, my first test. I see faces. Miriam, she yeah. says, she's, I see faces. I see this. Yeah, I always see Kareem. She, she comes over. She likes to do her thing with what she sees. Yeah. And Drew, me has yeah, a whole other thing. She loves to come over and, and interpret his uh, paintings. Yeah. It's really? So, that, oh, wow. I, I show, come over and do that. Yeah. 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 She'll come over just to do that. Yeah. But, you know, I always say, you know, that's exactly what I want the paint to be. Whatever. It, it should be viewer focused. Yeah. So that, you know, it's not just... What I was painting, because I'll, I'll be honest with you, I literally, I'm, I'm in a kind of a trance-like state when I'm creating this. And it takes me a day or two to do one of these. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes a little longer. But I'm in a kind of a trance fix. I don't literally plot out exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. I don't do any measurements. Mm -hmm. I just go with whatever flows. Yeah. It just flows out and whatever happens. And once I'm done, I'm done. That's it. You know, whatever hits the uh, canvas or board is what it's going to be. Yeah. And then when it dries, then you know I'll use certain techniques to make sure it dries a certain way. Yeah, you just capture a, a, a performance that you can't edit. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Wow. Exactly. You know, and the colors, you know, as they begin to sink and then change, you begin to see other things, or I, I see other things that I wasn't seeing when I was in this other state of mind huh. that were coming out. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. You need to tell them this too, right, Miriam? Mm -hmm. I don't name my stuff. Oh, yeah. I number it based on the day that I created. Wow. So that's the kind of thing. So that's another mm -hmm. bow to the viewer to yeah. let them determine what it is. You know, it's all, you know, I paint for myself, but I paint with the viewer in mind so that they it's make it their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, she is. Yeah. We're going to go over in just yeah. a second. Oh, okay. but, so um, that's, you know, that's what that's all about. If, you know, you. If anybody was looking or wondering about the name, I don't name them. Yeah. And that's all on the viewer. Yeah. It's all viewer focus, whatever they want it to be, so however they want it to be. This looks like R colon your your R initials. R D M. Yep. And that's my, that's my logo. Oh, that's your logo. Your all the R in. M. Right. Yeah. I yep. see. The R, the D, and the M. So. Wow. And this hmm. is literally the day. Uh, I prepped it, you know, by putting a background, you know, three days ahead so that they can dry because it's like a sculpture, semi-sculpture background in white, you know, yeah. uh, gesso and, uh, and uh, acrylic. Uh -huh. And then I totally did the whole thing, everything else, mm -hmm. all in one day on the 12th, which was just past. And it's still setting. Okay. I mean, it's, it's like 99% done and dry, but mm -hmm. over time, you know, you'll notice that you know the colors become more saturated because again like you said it's you know these fluorescent colors yeah they become more vibrant and you know they stand out more and each time you look at it depending on what lighting you have you'll see something that you didn't notice before that's i do notice that with a lot of the paintings paintings I've that he has in the house of, this is new to me the yeah. whole idea all these ideas in this it's yeah. just so great so great Thank you, Dennis. I'm honored to. And this is for you this. and Terry. So over time, so that if you're worried about dust or anything, you can just take 10, 15 seconds just to brush off so that it doesn't settle. Even though you'd be hanging it vertically, you know, dust doesn't tend to settle that way. But still, because it's a lot of it's sculpture, sometimes it can get, you know, maybe in the crevices, depending on how much dust you have. Because that even happens to me. That's why I keep those covers over sometimes if I'm storing it for a long period of time. Yeah. If I'm storing it, but if it's on display, then it is what it is and stays there. Right. And I just go by and that's it. Maybe every 
Yeah. Three years or so. Hmm. So that's it. Wow. That's the that's story. That's mind blowing. It. That's. Okay. I'm, I'm speechless. I, I just. I'm, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey man. I, you yeah. guys deserve it, and I said, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure I had it done and finished and kept my word as I said I would. Okay. I'm turning off now. Okay.